<laughs> it's like, play me again. And I'm like, no. <laughs> um, and I mean, I know eight is a big fat love story, but that's what all Final Fantasies are. Like, really, they're all big fat love stories. Seven was a little more complex, but still. I do not like first person shooters at all in any game. However, I am starting to tolerate them more. I want my um, my first next generation console first person shooter experience to be Bioshock. Um, excuse me. This is not counting the endless rounds of Nazi zombies I've had on Call of Duty World at War and it's not counting the five seconds of co-op duty me and my brother did on uh, Left 4 Dead 2 before we got completely annihilated. Um, I absolutely love Fatal Frame 2. Yes, I love that game. I love it. Oh, God. My friend and I played it. Well, she played it. I was, I watched her play it. So it was like a, I don't know. It was like a live action let's play, <laughs> I guess. That's when I got obsessed with like, where I got where I like I like to watch people play video games it's fun and make jokes it's fun but <laughs> we got through Fatal Frame 2 in like a week it took her a week and we had so much fun screaming at the top of our lungs we had to play it with all the lights off and play it at night and we would just be sitting there together and she would be like ah and I'd be like oh my god <laughs> And the story is so interesting. Like, people are like, blah, blah, blah story. But the story is really interesting if you pay attention to it. But I guess, you know, in a game like that, you feel kind of rushed. And you're always on edge. Because I got the shit scared out of me the other day. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, there's a few games I've been looking into for blind runs. Like, I thought about doing um, Rule of Rose. Because they have that at a GameStop near me. Um, for relatively cheap. Um, Fatal Frame 1. Just because I've, I've played Crimson Butterfly and I've watched LPs of Tormented. Um, and I wouldn't mind playing it. Res like I said, Resident Evil 4 and Clock Tower 3. Um, I thought about Haunting Ground until I started watching uh, the Heartless's Let's Play of Haunting Ground. And then I was like, well, nope. <laughs> Not putting myself through that bullcrap. <laughs> Clock Tower 3 is pretty much the same thing, so, you know, whatever. Um, so if you haven't noticed, I like survival horror games, and I only have one survival horror game right now for my 360, and that's Silent Hill Homecoming, and honestly, it is shit. I don't think I will ever finish it, because I tried to start a new game the other day under easy, and it's not there, so I have to beat it first to get easy. <laughs> and, um... We're lucky that I'm not LPing it because there would be a lot of me dying. I can't figure it out at all. I can't I can't do the fighting. I'm in a part where like doesn't matter what I do, I die. Doesn't matter, I die. Um Let's see, what else could I talk about? Oh, um let's players that I really, really enjoy and that got me into let's playing. Um Well, the first let's plays I really watched were Manga Minx's Let's Plays of Crimson Butterfly. Um, I was playing the game in my first playthrough when I watched her Let's Plays just because I was stuck at a part and I needed to see how to do it. <laughs> it was killing me and I felt bad for looking up a walkthrough so a uh, watching someone else do it felt made me feel better. So, um, Then I got off of that for a while and started watching, um, I, somehow I came back to YouTube and saw her Silent Hill Let's Play and I was like, well, I want to watch someone else play it that's finished it, you know, cause she hasn't finished it yet and she's had a lot of problems and I hope that she gets all those sorted out and she starts to feel better and everybody feels better and she needs a manga hug is what she needs. <laughs> Oh, I love Mega Minx. But anyway, <laughs> um, I started watching Lord Vega's Let's Plays of Silent Hill. Like, he did um, all three of them. And <laughs> they literally made me laugh so hard. 
but um, after watching his Let's Plays, I was like, well, let's see, you know, and I started clicking other people's, and I found the Heartless, and I watched his Let's Plays, and I was like, holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> I, I recently let my brother watch his uh, Fatal Frame 3 ones or a couple of them um, and now my brother will hand like if I hand my brother something he will look at me and say I will use this to take a picture of my family <laughs> which <laughs> every time I think about that it makes me laugh <laughs> oh, Heartless is amazing okay but um and then um, I started watching August Girls Resident Evil Let's Plays, which normally I don't watch Let's Plays Resident Evil because it causes me to be in my chair screaming at the people. <laughs> like, me being like, oh my god, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> but hers didn't. Like, I just was like, oh my god, this is exactly how it was when I played it the first time. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, confusion what <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this okay I guess I'll take that <laughs> I suppose I'm supposed to use it somewhere you know and um I watched um through her I found Agent JR and I watched his let's play Silent Hill which are funnier <laughs> just because I love how he's so calm about everything. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's what I liked. I mean, he would freak out sometimes, but usually he was like, oh, well, that is interesting. <laughs> I liked that. And Aura Faye, I watched her Let's Play of Silent Hill Shattered Memories, and I liked that. I, she, she, I like how she, I, she is in the dangerous situation with her person. Like, <laughs> I feel like that. Like, when right now she's playing the calling and I feel like I'm standing next to her while she is walking through this hallway of this like crazy school with these crazy ghosts <laughs> I'm here like we can do this let's let's not quick turn anymore <laughs> you were right let's don't do that scary faces are scary <laughs> so I mean they're really great let's players and um, I'm, I'm actually really glad that they took a chance to look at my channel and enjoyed my work because I'm very I, like when I started this I was like I'm gonna do this but I'm gonna like not say anything about it like <laughs> I'm gonna just not say anything about it and um see how that goes because <laughs> I don't want my let's place to suck and people be like oh winner for suckiest let's plays go to cheese helmet <laughs> I'm be like no <laughs> um I like to think that mine are relatively funny, I guess. I don't know. There have been a few times that really cracked me up. And parts, like things that happen while I'm recording, I'm like, oh my god, this is gold. <laughs> it's like, that's what I thought about the first part of Resident Evil Survivor until now. <laughs> but yeah, and I've rambled on for way too long. Um, I'm glad I could have this chat with you guys. I could probably ramble some more about stuff that doesn't matter. Um, but definitely check for um, more Let's Plays in the future. Um, definitely, if you're not, if I didn't get you from <laughs> from August Girl or um, from you seeing me comment on Heartless's page or seeing me comment on Manga Minx's page or seeing me comment on our face page <laughs> or got me from any of those people um find those people and subscribe to them now they're hilarious I love them um they're great everything that comes out of their YouTube channel is gold 